Hi everybody! This video starts a new tutorial in the analysis and design of structures using the well-known software SAP. To start, go ahead and launch the software. So this is the software's interface. As you see here, all options are grayed out because we have not yet created a new model. So to create a new model, you have two options. The first one is from here, new model. The second one is simply go to file and from here, new model. If you have a local file, you can open it from here. And if you have an AutoCAD file, you can import it from here. This is AutoCAD. And all of these are other formats that you can import into SAP. So we start again by creating a new model. And here we have many different options. Let's see the first one. From here we can set units. Different units can be set from here or simply from here. But now it's grayed out because this window is open. So we we did, we have chosen kilonewton meter and degree centigrade. We can define grid from here directly, or we can just click on blank. So let's try both ways. From here, you can right click, edit grid data, and modify and show system. And here you can add new grids in the X direction, add number of points that you want, and in the Y direction, and in the Z. And after that, you can enter the values manually. Okay. These are just random values. Okay. And Okay, so this is the grid that I have created now. Now let's try the other way to create a grid. Select edit, uh, modify and delete, delete all of them. Okay, and now file, new model and grid only you can select from here from here you can specify the number of grids in all the three directions x y z let's assume that the number of lines that we need are as written here four in x four in y and five in z and from here you can set the spacing also we don't have to change them they look pretty good again we don't have to change them we want them to be like this if you want to change them accordingly you can enter numbers here the first grid line location can be moved from the origin that is 0 0 0 to any different point that you have specified so you can enter any number here and then OK so this is the grid that we have created right now.